Okay, there we go. Hey guys, how you doing? Halo here, and um, this is kind of a tutorial fix for um, anybody who's using Dolphin Emulator. Um, people, I've I've tried this um, thing where you try to plug in two Xbox controllers, whether it be the Xbox One or 360 or whatever, and the Dolphin actually crashes when you actually try to configure both of them or um, it's just not recognizing as player one and player two it just recognizes player one uh, for both controllers or whatever I found a solution very simple really uh, uh, as you can see you got my OBS open and I got Google trying to figure this shit out so what I was doing was um, just fucking around with the controls so first things first you gotta go to your um, configuration uh, here you gotta go to your GameCube uh, tab and make sure you set ports open so you have port 1 and 2 open or port 3 and 4 if you have more controllers and just set them as a standard controller and my issue is here watch this I click on GC pad wait for it wait for it yep see it's not responding everything just the whole thing just freezes I have no idea why it's stupid makes no sense but the whole thing just freezes so I have to open my thing and end the task and so here we are the issue just because both controllers are plugged in it's not picking up both player one and two separately and you cannot configure um, the uh, settings for both controllers so what I did was I just simply unplugged one of the controllers which I'm gonna do Xbox one because easier and now I can open up the settings there we go and so what I did was set up pad 2 well because I want three, my 361 to be player 2 so what I did for both vice versa uh, I took one of the controllers, um, 360 for example, I unplugged the Xbox One one, which would be player one, and um, I set it to a different pad, so X input one gamepad would be 360. And then I, I would make sure everything works, as you can see, thumbsticks work, button, oh, buttons, D-pad and everything, all that works. So I made sure that worked. And then I did it vice versa with the uh, Xbox One controller being this would be player one, so this would be X input zero gamepad. And what I found, the solution, <laughs> all you gotta do is make sure the thing is open when one controller is plugged in, and you just simply plug it back in, make sure it turns on, click OK, go back to the settings. And then, voila! It's work. It working? Yes, yes, it works. Look at that. It works. And then pad two also works. Woo! It works. And just to prove to you, I'm going to open Sonic Riders. And this was also an issue. Um, like if I didn't do it this way, and I still had issues like trying to get both controllers working. Um, it would like not start up the game it would just freeze and I try if I tried closing it it wouldn't work so I would have to reset dolphin altogether so game data start game yes blah 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 game start uh, let's get to the point setting up the game so player one is working let's see choose my character and now, boom, oh, player two, yay, I can choose my character, Woo. So, after like half an hour of trying to figure this shit out, and Googling shit, it's like people are not like giving any good answers or fixes or anything. I just found this, like just by fucking around. <laughs> so, if this helps anybody, Feel free to try this out, and if it works, let me know. Um, I really had no idea what I was doing, but it's all a matter of just 
you know, swapping out the ports while the program is open, open and everything, and yeah, so now you can play two-player, four-player, whatever, GameCube stuff, um, and yeah, so it works. I hope this helped, and hopefully I can get more um, playthroughs going as well uh, for my channel with uh, GameCube emulators and all that, so thanks for watching, hope this helped, have a good day. Stop recording.